GitHub just released a new feature called as GitHub Models. I am one of the few lucky people who have the public beta access to GitHub Models. In this video, I'll show you how you can create an amazing Python application using GitHub Models. So let's start. Once GitHub Models is available publicly for everyone, this is a site that you will be able to access. So here you will have all the list of different models that are available. So you have models from Meta, you have models from Mistral, you have OpenAI models as well, and then you have models from Microsoft as well. So all of these models are publicly available in GitHub models. All you have to do is you can click on any particular model, play around with it in the playground. Once you're confident that this is something that you want to utilize in your application, then you can export pieces of code and create a solution out of it. I will choose the biggest open source model that is currently available as on August 2024, which is Meta Llama 3.1 405B Instruct model. So this is the biggest model that I have. So when I click here, this is the model page. So you can see all the details of the model are given here. And what I'll do first is I'll click on playground. In the playground section, you basically get an interface wherein you can play around with different prompts. So let me try out a simple sentiment analysis prompt and going forward, I'll also show you how you can create an application out of it. So for example, if my prompt goes something like this, analyze the sentiment of the following review, respond with only one word, either positive, neutral or negative. Say for example, the input review is the product was amazing. Okay. Now when I press enter, it gives me a response which is positive. So now if I change my review to something that is neutral, uh, let's say the product was ok ok and I want Llama 3.1, the biggest model to give me a response out of it. So when I press enter, it gives me a response that is neutral. Similarly, let's try for a sarcastic review. So if I say the product was amazingly bad. Let's see what the inference is. It's a negative review. So it was able to understand that amazingly bad is basically a negative review and it gives me a corresponding response based on this. So once you're confident that this is the model that I want to utilize in my application, all you have to do is you have to go to get started. So you see a button here called as get started. So I've selected Python as the language, but you can select JavaScript or if you want an API response, so you can create a rest based solution as well, but I'll stick to Python and the SDK currently is Azure AI inference SDK. So that is what we have. Now here you have all the steps given that is you can kind of download your GitHub access token and then you can save it as an environment variable and retrieve it in the code rather than going through all the hassle. What I'll do is I'll create an instance of a code space. So I don't have to worry about anything explicitly. So I'll click on create or run code space and automatically a code space would be generated for me. Again, if you look at how seamless everything is, you're doing literally everything in GitHub, the environment itself. So you can play around with different NLP models. You can tweak whatever you feel like and you can adjust the prompt look at which model gives you better responses, etc. And then once you have everything up and running, all you have to do right now in GitHub code spaces is create a file. So say for example, if I create a file called as app.py. So if this is my Python file and I paste all the code that was given in the previous section. So I paste every piece of code here. Now all you have to do is you basically have to change some amount of inputs that you're passing in. So so here I'll modify the system response to get the right responses as well. So I'll paste in things here. So my system prompt is ready and I pass in the user query, which is the product was amazingly good. Now I save this particular app.py file. I don't have to worry about the installation because this is a code space instance and all of this headache has been managed by GitHub really well. So everything is abstracted out from the end users. Now I just type the command python app.py. 
and here is the response that I get, which is positive. So if I say the product was amazingly horrible. Now when I run this, it gives me negative. If I say the product was okay, okay. It gives me neutral. Remember one thing, this entire solution is still in public beta. Bits and pieces of the entire solution may change going forward. So if there are changes, please refer to the documentation in the GitHub's website itself. So this is all that I had in today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching the video.